Hey there, everyone. The Cell Cow WarioWare. Uh, we're doing the grid, and today we are ending Crygor's reality games. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, this goes pretty fast if you actually do these daily, doesn't it? All right, let's just go. Just hop in. Bad man dash. Let's just click towards the person, right? Eliminate foes with kicks and punches. This requires fast processing. Does it? Yeah, point at a guy and kick him in the face or the body. I don't know. Fight. Yo, check it. <laughs> my, my leg was extended way before the guy got even close. So this is 15 points. Watch ho. Where we go? Then just kind of sit there. Just leg like up there. Very comfortable. Whoa. Wa wapu. See, but that, see, that, that looks like a victory pose. So that's a pretty good way to end. Is it always going to be the same order of guys? I wonder. No, it's not. All right. Maybe. No, no, no. I didn't. I never end. It. No, well, okay. Well, maybe I did, but. Ta, ta, ta. Yeah, okay. So this confirmed. It's not always going to be the same order, so we got to keep a look see. As a little foot soldiers just got to send their crouching. Whoa, that was. That felt a little bit close. Okay. 15 points. What, what, what? All right. Th number three is out. Failed is going to be the easiest one. Maybe, well, no. The easiest one's gonna be level one because it's just a dude. It's always gonna be the easiest one. Whoa, whoa. See, but see how close they got. But like, but remember that even if there is a sense of urgency in what is going on here, I have until the bomb explodes. So like, even if the scene looks like it's a bit more urgent-like than that, in theory, I should always have until the explosion. Wait, can I just wiggle? Can I just go like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be punished. Yeah, you're not punished for dancing. Whoa. Oh no, you can get God before the bomb. Okay, that's good to know then. All right, wait, wait, what? Uh, what's happening? Okay, I guess I got super Godded before the bomb. <laughs> so they just kind of get into your limb. Well then why do you have a timer if you can die before the timer? Okay, so the timing is faster than the timer. Hey, now I know. At least I only- I, rough putt, I gotta read first, sorry. Thwart the attacking aquatic creature by extending your spines. Precise timing is needed. Extend! I forgot about this. Check it out, I'm a fish, I don't know, weird. I forgot that this game existed, but yeah, like, that's why on the other one. I uh, started, I only start to experiment after I had my points. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't expect. Oh, there's a fake out! But, I mean, does it matter? W would not just like puffing out just be generally a good thing in general? I mean, I'm sure there's a re. Well, the reason why puffer fish don't say puffed up all day long is because I think that swimming is harder. Because, you know, when they're not puffed up. Oh, what? I press the button. I thought you would fake me out. But I guess he didn't. So he faked me out by not faking me out. So at level three, I have to be cautious because maybe. Hey, I pressed the button. I swear I pressed the button. Oh boy, I might just die here. That's okay. Failure might happen, and you know what? That's yeah. It's uh, it's when we're at level three. See? Oh! oh! But even if I fall for a fake out, I can still puff anyway. So you're not punished uh, for puffing for no reason. So always puff then. Like that's the lesson here. Just always puff. And if you have to puff twice, well then you have. They went too fast. Oh no. Whoa, what? That fish was hungry. Um, I guess I was just too slow. All right. I mean, I still got it. It's a 15 point game. I still got it, but. I I wasn't throwing. I just the game just got really quick suddenly. I remember this silly one. Body block. 15 points. Impede the watermelon's progress with your body. Attempt not to fail completely. Yeah, see this is realism cuz Dr. Krygor can only play realistic game. That is that did not count. Only a realistic game. That was just too realistic for me. There you go. So yeah, play a block, block through with a guy and a watermelon. Uh, whoa, there we go. 
right in the back. You know, it's very comfortable. You can see the way he adjusts his shirt. It's an adjust- uh, Whoa! No, it doesn't count. Because I don't want to lose in the first three. When, like, you know, like, I need to get to 15. Not happening. So yeah, the difference is the length of humans. Humans come in different length. But also, yeah, the reason why I got got there is that the watermelon then like I mean it can go left or it can go right, right? And I went in the wrong direction. So there you go. Yeah. Oh she's waving. This is somewhat comfortable leaning on the side while the wild melons bouncing around on your side. I wouldn't believe you, but I feel like, you know, actions speak louder than words. Uh, that's what they say over at the cockatiel farm. Oh, right on the head. I mean, that could not have been comfortable, lady. That could not have been something designed- Right on the face? Yeah, that's right. Face full of watermelon. Now on ZTV. Is that a thing? It could be a thing. Oh. I thought it was going to start right. There's no way to know where it's going to start. <laughs> like it's just direction and uh, I feel like if you don't if you don't have it, like it's just yeah, like by the time I noticed it was too late. Like I feel it feels like I'm defaulting to think it's going to start by going to the right, even though that's not necessarily a truth. Like what decide a direction is going to go? Is it going to go uh, well, it did go left there. So, basing myself on- uh, no, okay, so I was like, is it on the direction the ball was going the last time? No. Cause like, you-, you Like, <laughs> I don't know! I don't know where it's gonna go, and I don't have time to readjust. Wow, that one was kind of insane. Whoa, boy, okay, yeah, no, yeah, like... You move kind of slow. Like, compare the speed of your paddle man. And the speed of the watermelon. Like, I feel like that's where a lot of the difficulty came from. I forgot about this one. Spoon Spectacular, 20 points. It is merely mind over matter. Use the power in your fingers to bend the spoon. Academic. Bend. Oh, is that, is that tapping? Are we tapping up and down? It is. Okay, so it's like steak. Except instead, it's Spoon. Like, it is. Oh, but you know what? Going left and right, I feel, is pretty natural. Going up and down is weird. Like, it just feels weird to me. Um, <laughs> alright. And you start with down. Got it! Alright, well. Doing this 20 times! Here we go. Maybe less, because you can fail. And then when you do, it still counts, so technically, you know, you can end up doing this less less amounts of times. Uh, and yeah, it takes uh, less attempts, the easier mode it is, that's not hard to figure out. There we go, but the animation change, see there, there's a little flippoo, but... And the hard mode, like, it outright just falls right off, you just broke your spoon. I mean, I... I I say that, it's not like any of these spoons end up in a usable state. Well, I don't know. The the middle one ends up in a state where it could like scoop your own spoon, like your own soup right into your mouth. Like you can like maybe use it as a very poor, very weak catapult or propeller even if you were to lean it at the back of a boat. Please consider that seriously and then ruin your dinnerware. It's all good. Alright, so hi, hey there everyone, so how, and I messed up going to up down fast. That's what happened. That is literally what happened. There will not be any, uh, oh, 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 this is hard, okay, like just barely. Okay, but yeah, but it was barely, but it was a hard one. I thought it was an easy one, and I was like, wait, what's going on? But no, I lost crap. Okay, you gave that one to me, alright, I don't agree, but hey, you know what? If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Uh, there we go, spinny spoony! Don't play that with a knife. That counted, alright. So some games, there's an animation that has to play before it gives it. Not this one, this one just acknowledging this very, very first frame of animation is more than enough. Oh shoot, yeah, no, this is... This, this is hard now, like, this is just outright difficult. It's, you have to go very fast, and there I trip, my, my thumb trip. Yeah, like, going up and down, I don't know, yeah, left and right, all day long. Up and down, I don't know, it feels weird. It's, uh, not as natural. I guess I could have 
held my controller sideways. Oh, I don't know. That feels against the spirit of holding a spoon vertically, you know? Maybe. Quickie quiz! 25 points. Hey, you. Answer the question correctly. There's actual, like, exclamation now. There's only one correct answer. Why? Why is it all? What's all with all the screaming? This is incorrect. What do you want? Pick a hand. All right. Yeah, the other one's a lung. So, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, an whoops! I, I pressed an arrow without looking, because I was too busy trying to make a comment about how an Orbulon game kind of snuck into the reality game. And that's weird. Don't pick a cat by the tail, please. Uh, not a tail. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess it is a tail of a plane. See, I picked- I chose that one because it was, uh, you know, it was not an animal. It was an object. An object doesn't have a tail. But a plane can have a tail in the- Alright, so you have to pay attention. Everything matters. Not a leaf. Not a leaf. Even though it's green. See, they're gonna trick you with that. With a- With a butterfly that was photoshopped to be green. Technically a paw, not a ham. Uh, does it qualify? Pick a cat, not by the tail again. I'm gonna repeat that, because I don't know. Like, I feel like they put that tail in a very inviting grab pose, which is really cruel. Imagine if someone could grab you by the cervical cord. <laughs> They'd be like, oh geez, pick a cat. Oh, that's a cat. I thought it was a dog paw. Because of the shape, not a leaf, all right? I mean, I just recognize the construct of the pick a tail, all right? Tail or a head, uh, pick a cat, alright? It just means it's always like the same, like, image. Not a tail, yeah, it's the snake, cause that's the head part. Unbelievable. Yes, yeah, so, like, if it's gonna be leaf and paw, is it always gonna be paw? I don't know, like, that's what's looking like, not a tail, alright, yeah. So if it's always the same images, it's always, like, it's, it's never gonna be leaf for that one, is what I'm hearing. Is what I'm understanding. Not a beast? Okay, well that was a new question. So that was very exciting. Pick a butterfly. A whale is not a butterfly. Beast? You gotta say it like that. Pick a hand. Alright, well I won, I'm pretty sure. So it's pretty low key here. I'll leave. Alright, okay, if you say so. Yeah, it's an IQ game, but it uses like a regular game timer. That's exciting. It, yeah, no, but this shows that you don't need the extended timer. You can do this with a regular timer, no problem. With that said, I did uh, meringue. Like, if I, I, I never saw that combination of items, and I just guessed. Whoops! It's a plane, man. The plane, I feel like, attracts attention. It's like, there's a plane there. That clearly doesn't fit. But no, every time I do that, I get get. Cat, oh, whoa, my thumb actually... So for the, f the, 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 the second last one, my thumb missed down on the D-pad. My thumb missed my entire D-pad. I don't know how that happened. But I, 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 I pressed underneath it. And the other one, I was so bamboozled, I just pressed the direction. It happens. This is a timer meter game. Kettle metal. 15 points. We're, st we're ending with a timer thing. The burner is hot. Push the switch to reduce the heat. Hot things cause pain. Cut the heat! Yeah, we're ending with a meter timer. Cut the heat. Whoa, check it out. It's in the green. All right. And uh, the timer's getting uh, smaller and smaller in the area. So, how's your reaction time, buddy? Not that great, friendo. Yeah, and it's 15 points, so I, I don't want to lose in the, in the first. Okay, so closer to the middle there. Okay.
We'll, we'll keep it. Okay, well, okay, I have it now for real. Ah! It's hard! There's like no let. Oh, now the time's going fast, so like I don't even have time to like time it the way I want it. Can I actually get it at that speed somehow? <laughs> What's that? What's that movement of speed of meter? Like, what the hell? <laughs> That was not happening. Oh, <laughs> all right. Hey, we did it. And we finished Dr. Krygor, leaving us only with a certain face where once was but a nose and the hair that grows underneath that nose. An entire face has emerged. And it is where we shall wonder.